Joseph, that's what's good for you. All right, y'all. Happy Friday. Um, I don't even know if it's copyright. Happy Friday. I just got through shooting um, a YouTube video. You guys would have already seen it. It's the outfit formula. Um, packing up some Poshmark orders. I... Did I say welcome? Is this introductory? Hi guys, welcome to a uh, weekend vlog. Let's move this up a little bit. It's Friday and I'm so excited. Do y'all wanna know the highs Saturday and Sunday? 69 and 67. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, we're back with another weekend vlog. I, you guys did see I went boxed this morning. Um, so I've been very productive. Highlights today. Just got through shooting a video. I am going to get some alterations done. I'm going to head to the place where William goes. Um, you guys know I normally have my mom do my alterations, but these are some very expensive fabrics. And if they're not done right, I need to be able to uh, let the other person know about themselves. And I can't let my mama know about herself. Like, you didn't do them right, mama. That sounds very weird and disrespectful. <laughs> So I'm just going to take what William does and then there's a quite a few of them like I have reached the point in my weight loss journey where I'm like alright Alicia you need to wear the clothes you have so I'm going to get some things taken on in the waist I'm going to get some things um, hemmed because they're too long so we're going to get some alterations done um, I also need to go by Walmart to shop um, there I'm doing a collaboration I can't decide if I want to do um, a collaboration with like my cell fall clothing or if I want to do Alexander I guess I'm just going it's going to depend on what I could find I love that they're just like Walmart why are you not focused I'll wait on you you back okay uh, but I love how Walmart kind of gives me like free reign to do things um, so I'm going to check and see what they have. I really want to intend on shooting it this weekend, which is why I haven't bothered to look online. And then that's it for the most part of today. Oh, if I felt like it, these have to come down. Not if I feel like it, these need to come down. It's been a minute, so I need to take these down. And then tomorrow, kind of want to go to the farmer's market, kind of want to do brunch. Um... I kind of wanted to go to either Home Goods or somewhere to find a fall best bread for us. It's very weird because normally, like in our other our old house, I changed our comforters with the season. Like I I was switching out comforters. I just like things to just be different. Um, and since we've been in this house, we've had the exact same comforter since we moved into this house. So May of last year. And that is a testament to just me not really focused on our bedroom. Um, but now I'm focused on it. So I kind of wanted to go see what they have. I saw one in West Elm and then I saw that price and I was like, okay, I should not be in here looking for a comforter because this ain't the price that I want to pay for a comforter. Is that the going, like is $500 a going rate for a comforter now? So I'm gonna check Home Goods and I'm gonna check Target, or that's the plan for tomorrow. And then Sunday, we're taking the kiddo and my sister and her kids were going to the pumpkin patch. We're going to the one I think in Helena. Yeah, um, but I've already put all my alterations in. I was going to wear, so I got this dress from Micah's and I got an extra large those like you know what these hips and these thighs and you guys can't see it let me pull out where's my other phone so you guys can see what I'm seeing because I don't know if you guys can see it on there like you see how here like even if I just stand like this like you see how there's like holes here um, I'm assuming it's because, you know, it's Micah's because I have seen people, um, get dresses from, I want to say it's like Fumi the label and this isn't like that, but see how you have like these holes. I can't wear this out. So I'm thinking about putting on, um, a pair of jeans and just wearing it as like a long shirt. Also, I, I'm so chatty. I don't know. I don't know how long we've been. I've been chatting. But my outfit for Vegas came in for the Usher concert. 
Okay, so this is the skirt that I got from Micah's. I tried it on and it did fit. It, it fits so well. So this is the this is the skirt. We said we wanted to do like a t-shirt and then some kind of like pants and the boots. So I wanted to do a skirt. So I got this shirt that I got from Etsy. I just need to wash it. I'll probably wash it inside out um, on warm to kind of, you can tell it's like a new and it needs to be washed. So I got that. So I'll probably do a kind of, let me bring you guys down so you guys can see the full ensemble. Right, so I'll probably wear it like this. And then, I am going to vlog, so no worries. Do this. And then for the piece de resistance. I think I've shown you guys these boots before. These boots that I've gotten so much wear out of already. These are boots from Steve Madden. I'm going to pair these with those, with that outfit. Gorgeous. So excited. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be vlogging. Um, it's the same crew that we went to Nashville with the Rose Festival, uh, minus Kiosha. She's not going on this one. Of all sleepwear for him. All right, y'all, we're in route to the alterations. As you can see, I changed. I'm casual. I still am gonna have on the boots. I'm, I don't like to drive with heels on, so I'm barefoot right now. Um, but I'm gonna put them on for the sake of alteration. So we're headed out. I forget just how far this alteration place is from me. Why is there a slowdown? It's 126. Um, but it's technically in Pelham, which is when William finds an alterations place, he well when he finds a, a place period that he likes, he never changes. So this is the alterations place that he's been going to since when we were in our first house, which no one will remember because I wasn't vlogging then. Um, but we were living in Pelham, which is like right outside of Birmingham. And this, that it's where I'm going. It's fine though, because I'm only going all the way out here um, because I wanna go to the Walmart that's out here because the from the last time I can remember, once again, I haven't been to this Walmart in probably well over six years but what I can remember is they always had a nice clean organized and fully stocked Walmart and I've got some things I want to get I'm thinking about I'm thinking about if I'm being honest with this Walmart collab because you guys see me do the fashions all the time that I'm thinking about making it more so uh, Alexander focused so like I said me and uh, my sisters and the family are going to the pumpkin patch so I'm hoping I can find some nice fall outfits for Alexander and my nephew and that way I can sh like shoot content um, for them on Sunday and that'll just be for Walmart um, it's just going to depend on what I find but as I'm thinking about it I think that's kind of the route I want to go because um, it'll have the fall outfits it'll have kids it'll have you know them in the background October pumpkin patch if it's the theme so I'm thinking that's the route that I want to go in. Most of them are going to be a hem. They're too long. Can you like the crotch? Can you pull the crotch up a little bit on this one? Okay. Mm. Is it no hat? Yes, the hat. Mm -hmm. No shoes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. This needs a hat on this one. Yeah, just a little. This, mm -hmm. this one, man. Eh? Yes. Only this one. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, okay. All right, we're done. That didn't take as long as I thought. <laughs> She kept complimenting. She's like, oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I was like, thank you. Um, she normally only charges 12 for the hems and the pants, but because all of mine are wide leg, understandable, more, more material. It was anywhere between like $15 and $18. And then you guys didn't see it, but I bought this Hanifa. I'll put it up here. I bought this Hanifa sweater from Poshmark. And I forget that Hanifa's large is, they really be large in. And it's the keyhole. You guys can see it. And... I ain't got enough boobs for that. So she had to like 
bring that in a little bit. And then of course, with all of Hanifa sleeves, the sleeves have to be altered. Um, so that was the only other thing that I needed to get done. So she said I can pick them up next Saturday. So now we're headed to Walmart um, to do the things. Sorry, me and my manager have just been like voice noting back and forth. It's crazy because I was like, the um, this is influencer related. Sorry if you can't relate, I apologize. But uh, Q4 is always really busy, like October through December. For I want to say since like 2018, for me, it's always been like, and it normally leads up to that in September. So when September hit, and then the last part of September, I was like, hmm. I guess I'm not gonna be as busy. I mean, I thought I was creating good content, but clearly brands don't like it because I haven't gotten as much as I would anticipate. And this week, <laughs> I feel like God was like, hey, just give it time. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna create the content and I'm just gonna leave it out there. I Faith without works is dead. So I just did the works, now I have to rely on faith. This week, when I tell you, the amount of stuff that we've gotten in this week, I'm like, oh, okay, so this is where the faith got it. Got it, Lord, I apologize. I wasn't I wasn't trying to second guess you. I'm just saying what <sighs> So we've just been like going back and forth and that's another, okay. So anyway, let's head to Walmart. I know this is not on my list, but we are. We've had the same air fryer for the last Anyway, we need a new one, and this one's cute. It's by Drew Barrymore. I'm gonna get it. She has like a whole collection, so. She has it in white, it's in green. I love it, it's very aesthetically pleasing, but then she also has a mixer. If I didn't have a KitchenAid, I'd get one, it's even in green. It's cute, very cute. The costumes have already been over. I was going to try to do a costume for them, but my nephew likes Ghost and Casper. He's really into Halloween, and I don't see anything in Alexander's size, so I might just stick with, like, fall, a fall outfit. Yeah, not, none of this is going to work. <laughs> I have these sets, so I'm going to get this one in Alexander's size, so a 12 month. And then I'm gonna get this orange one in my nephew size and they'll be able to like mix and match. I'm gonna see what else they have, but so far that's what's in my buggy. I think these are doing a little too much. I like that if the pants weren't also that same fabric. That's, this is a little too much. I also like this, but I don't see Alexander size like all they have is an 18 and then that's just that's not a hoodie and like I said the high is supposed to be 69 so I kind of want them to be a little warm and then at least with those they can put jackets on top of them so unless I see anything else I think we're just gonna go with those I also forgot that I came in here to look for a double stroller and I see this one double stroller wagon I'm gonna check the price of it but see look how flat it folds I was looking to see if they were like, oh yeah, so they do have um, um, seat belts. I just don't know if they're okay looking at each other, if they wanted to look out. So I'm going to see what else they have, but that's the only one that I see so far. Now they have this one and there's no information on it, but I like it because like, I guess my oldest nephew can sit here and then Alexander can sit here. Then that way they're both looking out. I like that one, I just, there's nothing. There's no information on it. <laughs> All right, so I might check the one closest to me because they have this one, um, but I don't think they're gonna like sitting like that. And then they have this one, but call me vain, but I don't want red. <laughs> I want it to be neutral. But I think that, I think this one would work even though they're looking at each other. I don't know. It's only, it's $1.99 though. I'll check the closest one to me. They actually have a little better baby options, 
let's go see if I can't find something. I would like to be able to take a group like me and him, um, like a carousel. So I kind of want to get maybe either something to match this. Do I have something at home? Yes, but I don't know if it's from Walmart and it has to be from Walmart. So I'm going to get me something and then I'm going to see if they have like a beige sweatshirt for William. So that way we could take a family photo while we're at the pumpkin patch. All right, we are done with Walmart. I found two jackets um, that I just ended up buying both of them besides them just being cute. Um, and I found just like a plain cream sweatshirt for William. Um, yeah, so I think we're good with Walmart. I don't take my ass in Sephora. Any guesses on how much this costs? I'll answer it for you. 364 US dollars. Yeah. Yeah. 364 United States dollars. And the setting spray that I went in there for, they didn't even have. Full size or mini version. So what did I do? Oh, I remember seeing this on TikTok. Oh, I remember seeing that on Instagram. But we're headed to Williams Sonoma. I can't blame anybody but myself. So let's do a quick haul um, and then we are going to wrap up today's vlog. We're going to do Walmart really quickly. Oh, I'm pretty sure you guys already got it. You're sitting on the air fryer that I got. I'll unbox it and show you guys that tomorrow because I'm probably not, I don't feel like unboxing it today. Um, so for my oldest nephew or youngest nephew, he's three. So I got him this in the 3T. And then I got Alexander a 12 month, got that. And then I both got them the same hat, like the green hat. Picture this behind some pumpkins. <sighs> That's gonna be so cute. By the time this comes out, I think, when is it supposed to come out? Next Thursday? I, or Thursday after. Anyway, I think I've already posted it, so I'll pop up some pictures. And then for myself, I got, this it was confusing because this tag says large this tag says medium i don't know what this is whatever it is i wish it was a little smaller but i like it i feel like i'm gonna get over here in the mirror i feel like i wish it was a little bit more cropped so i'm probably gonna take it to i'll probably take it to the same alteration lady to see if she can't like cut it off at this yeah I think that's what I want for the purposes of of the collab sorry of the collab I'm gonna just leave it like this but then for my personal benefit honestly I think I want her to cut it off at the pockets it's still cute so I'm either gonna wear this jacket with a shirt and some jeans that I no doubt have from Target or not Target Walmart or I picked this puppy up. I like this one just because it's um, it's lightweight. So especially on those days when I 
and like going to the gym but then want to be able to go somewhere after pickup i like this i love that it covers the tush so normally when i go work out i come straight back and i don't really go out because i don't like to have my butt out while i'm running air so i like that it covers the butt and i got that in a medium and that's all that we got from wally world from i was like piggly wiggly must have been really sad. i was like i didn't go to piggly wiggly what did he get let's check and see what he got oh he got some wine okay we're we're finna be nosy he just wanted to go pick up alexander anyway i'm pretty sure this is his wine yeah miomi his pinot noir Croft. Oh, this is a tawny port. If you guys have never had a port wine, if you don't want to commit to the bottle next time you're out at like a nice restaurant, ask if they have a tawny port. It's a dessert wine. Change your life. Let's see what else we got. Let's see, we've got some seasonings. Backyard Southern style. That has to be local. And then we got some Dash's steak seasoning. And then we got, ooh, some boneless ribeyes. And that's calf, certified English beef. Whoa. I am all in his bag. And then I'm assuming he's cooking tonight. Yeah. We got some Brussels, pistachio, that's probably for him, and then okra. So maybe I'll pop up a picture of our dinner. And then from Williams and you guys saw most of it. I got this espresso martini mix that I am definitely, when I say I'm going to make it, um, I mean William is going to make it because I don't make the drinks. It says mix it with vodka and there was a split second when I was at the, <laughs> as at the store, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if William has vodka. And then I remembered the bar that we have downstairs of course it's gonna have vodka so i've got the meyer lemon this is a countertop spray i love it and then they also had the meyer lemon room spray it's weird that this is a yellow tint and this is clear but i love their room sprays they go come on focus there they go go such a long way so i got the room spray and then i wanted to try this truffle alfredo come on There you go, truffle alfredo sauce, pasta sauce. We got some sweet heat rub. Wow. Here we go, got some sweet heat rub. We got some carpadel noodles. So for Sunday, I know we normally do pizza. We might do pasta with the parpadel. And then we have a champagne preserver. We have one here, but it don't be preserved in a champagne. Like, I'll put it on and the next day there's no bubbles. So I'm hoping for $21.95 that this actually works. And then last but not least are just some gold mixing, some gold measuring spoons. And then the last thing where, I can't even get upset because you did it, Alicia. You walked into Sephora. You chose to add this shit into your cart and you chose to pay for it at checkout. You can't blame anybody but yourself. So now that that's out of the way, what I went in to get, the pattern detangling nectar. I pair that with the Pattern Transition Mask Nourish and Heal. I heard this was a great combination to use on the braids. You know guys, when you take your braids out, it's always this gunk at the at the beginning of the braids. So I'm hoping that will help. Um, my um, Kiehl's Body Butter, I am out of this. In the fall and the winter, my eczema makes several appearances. And the only thing that's really helped is a combination of this and then the Aveeno for eczema. And I had to get some. Um... Why else? I went in to get the setting powder from one size. I got the dark deep. Was that it? Was that the only reason? That's it. Why I did not go in there. The Voce Viva Intense Travel Perfume. 
I did not go in here for a perfume. But she smells divine. Oh, she smells so good. Why did I else did I not go in there? Makeup by Mario. But I just got through watching Aaliyah's face vlog and she was raving about the concealer and it doesn't crease and it sets its own sets itself. So I got two. I got a 420 to highlight with and then a 520, which is my color. I'll report back. Tatcha, um, the rice wash cleanser and the moisturizer i have this however i do not have a travel size and i intend on only packing a carry-on with us when we go to vegas for the usher concert so i needed to get travel size versions of this saw that in checkout so um also why did not get in there libre ysl perfume this was the first bottle of perfume that i bought with like grown adult money so when i graduated college and then not, yeah i graduated college and then got my first job for i mean for a couple of months i was i was a bath and body works girl for spray 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 and then i can't remember who i started following i want to say it was no i don't know who it was i want to say fumi monet but i don't know if she was around back when i first started anyway started opening myself to youtube and saw perfumes and someone had reviewed this one and i waited until i got my next check and i went and got this perfume and now i keep this perfume in my stash anytime i run out i get another one because it's just, it reminds me of my first big girl purchase i don't know why so i ran out probably a week or two ago and that bottle is just sexy you know what's going to irritate me is now that i'm on ysl's pr list if i get this in pr because i've gotten mascaras i've gotten lippies i've gotten um something else some kind of makeup if i get this in pr actually i'm not gonna be upset because it's fine and then the last thing which came in is like a 500 point something it's the i'm not even gonna try that brand their best sellers kit. So cleansing foam, activating serum, ginseng renewing serum, and the ginseng renewing cream. I'm gonna try this. How big are these things? Because you guys know normally I do Tatcha at night and then I'll do Ula Hendrickson in the morning. Um, that's normally my go-to. Like I'll pop in, like if I'm going through like uh like my period i'll actually switch that out for like different products to make sure i don't get any acne but for the most part those are my products but ula hendrickson doesn't really have a lot of minis so i was going to see about taking this and having this as my mini in the daytime when we go to vegas because i've heard quite a good few things i mean that's a decent size i think we're going Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so three days. I feel like this would be a good... Now, I don't know if this is good enough for me to try it one time and then take it with me. I feel like that may be good. It's not even a full quarter of a fluid ounce. 0.16 fluid ounce. <laughs> 0.27... I'll try it. I do, I do want to try it at least once. If I don't try anything except for the cleanser and the moisturizer, I at least want to try because I don't want the first time that I use it to be in Vegas. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. Um, I am going to take my makeup off and start undoing my braids. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. I had asked Kiosha if she wanted to do Farmer's Market and Brunch, but she's going to somebody stop it in right now. Um, so I'm either going to go solo. I might go solo dose. You know, I haven't really done a solo. I haven't really done a solo day out in a quite a long time. And what I mean like solo farmer's market and brunch. So I might go by myself. Let's see if I can convince your friend not to come with us. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. Happy Saturday. We are out as a unit. I'm in the back seat feeding your nephew because, y'all, his appetite the last two to three weeks. I don't know who's going to pay for this grocery budget, but it's not going to be me. He's hungry. Anyway, we're out to do some things. I didn't go to the farmer's market or brunch this morning. Woke up entirely too late. 
uh, me and William went downstairs. Um, I showed you guys a picture of our dinner and then we started watching season three of Lupin and the Sagittarius in me can't stop watching it. So William literally had to cut it off when I went to sleep and I just fell asleep downstairs. He gave me a makeup wipe and I fell asleep downstairs. So anyway, we're up going to go, I think three places. So we're not gonna talk about it. We're not, William's not gonna give his commentary. I wanna go to rooms to go to see what kind of furniture that they have. I told you guys about my furniture debacle. We're not gonna talk about it. We're, I'm just gonna go see. I told him, I was like, I'm not, in, I'm not buying right now. I just want to see what's available out there. And I really wanna buy furniture in person. I really don't wanna do the online thing anymore. So we're going to rooms to go. And then I told you guys I needed to go to the Walmart over here closest to us because um, I wanted to see about getting the double stroller. And then I wanted to go to Home Goods. I told you that yesterday. So I still want to go to Home Goods to try to find a nice comforter. I also need to find a container to put my bath bombs in because your friend broke mine today while we were getting ready. And then there's like, I'm repotting all of my plants. Um, so there is about four plants that are too big for their pot that I need to see if I can't find some nice like stone type um, container for them to go into. Bloom, did you have anywhere to go today? Uh, I'll pick up some stuff along the way. I like this, but I didn't want to set because I wanted it to be like two separate pieces. Blowing cold breeze on your body I can't tell you really what it is But you got it Make up in the morning You got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight You in love with being modest You a mood body Giving center views I'm just saying I'm a muse But you ain't even flexing And you cool Tad it up Cover wolf Different vibe You know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing And you ain't gotta try too hard all right, no, I'm talking. Um, yeah, we can. No luck at rooms to go. They had some stuff, but it wasn't like I wasn't obsessed with it. They actually had a couple of sectionals that they wish they had like separate pieces. I'm really not trying to get a sectional, just the way that the living room is laid out. I really just want to do uh, like a sofa and a love seat. Um, yeah, so no luck. We are gonna head to the home goods that's over here, closest to us anyway. And see if I can't find what I'm looking for. All right, next location, home goods. Let's hope I can stick with the budget or what we came in here for. Can I do it? Dad. Wow, you guys can't see the look of disconcernment behind the sunglasses. I saw the look. Like these two? On top of the gray, because she has those two decorative ones. What are we talking Which one? In the gray room, where she has those two decorative gray pillows. Oh my God. Yes. And there's just like nothing in the middle. <laughs> I say, how are you gonna put those in there? There's two of them. Yeah, I wish y'all had one, but I could put, I could put like one on the bed and then one on the little sofa that's sitting there. You want there. a different kind of gray? Aren't the ones there kind of like those? But they're, they're designed pillows. I can't, I'm, standing, I'm just saying like a darker gray so it stands out, like charcoal or whatever. Like one of these? Yeah. Like that. Or one of the soft ones. Like that. These soft ones are individual. You said you don't need one of these soft ones. All right, Home Goods was a yes and no. So I didn't find the best bread. I did find. I'm trying to talk to you too. I'm trying to talk to you too. I'm trying to talk to you too. If you could give me a second. Um, I was able to find a gray pillow to go into our gray room upstairs because I've been looking for one. And then I found three planters. However, I'm gonna go to Lowe's because I'm really into, I don't know when I, actually I do realize it. It's the AD Magazine, the most recent. Well, it would have been the July issue. Now I'm into like Mediterranean. Anyway, I say all that to say, I wanna go to Lowe's. 
<laughs> Whenever you're done. Okay. I'm gonna go to Lowe's to get like they have stone stone what do you call it Paper? spray paint so I could spray paint the um, planter stone because I'm really I really like that look and then because of that so we added Lowe's to our list it's only 1144 so we're making good with timing so we've added Lowe's and then because I didn't really find what I was looking for in a comforter, um, then I, now I want to go to Target to see it. I want to go to Target to see. And William's like, oh, just buy one online. I don't like to, there's certain things I don't like to buy online. And comforters is one of those. I, don't, I want to be able to see it. I want to be able to see the exact color. Um, I want to be able to visualize it and I can't really do that online so I'm going to go to Target. If I don't go today, I can go tomorrow. I would like to go today. But, you okay? Don't throw the pacifier. You okay? I like to go to Target so I've added two, two more on the list. But we're, we're doing good with timing. So next up is Walmart. Oh, don't get quiet now that the camera's on you. Cause you've been talking for the last five minutes. Turn out of here. And, oh, we're quiet now. Now that the lens is on you, we're quiet. Talk about it. Yeah, talk about it. Yeah. You have nothing to say? Mute. Yeah. Don't throw it. That's not nice. All right, just me in here. Alexander fell asleep and we don't want to wake him. So Target might be out. I went into Lowe's. They didn't have what I was looking for. So I'm going to have to check somewhere else. Where are the strollers? Is this it? <laughs> Is that even a double stroller? That's a double stroller. I asked my sister and she said that maybe this would be better because it has two, she said a wagon might be better. Is he even eating it or is he just playing in it? I mean, it's extremely cheesy. He's eating it, but he's squeezing it before he eats it, because that's what it does. And it's, it's going in. It said toddler. Oh, sorry. All right, we're back. We didn't go to Target because we're tired. And I'm actually, I'm even tired. I'm hungry, and I'm ready to eat. So, give you guys a quick... I say I'm ready to eat, but then I'm about to do this little DIY project before I eat. So, how hungry am I really? Anyway, home goods. I got... Uh oh. This gray pillow, and I'll show you guys. I don't think you've ever seen this room upstairs, but I'll show you where I'm trying to put it. I'm actually going to hold off on tearing the tag off. And then, yeah, I got this cute little thing to put in the kitchen because I kind of want to put like um, the dishwash, not the hand soap, and then like some hand lotion our dish soap is already in i'll show you too it's already like embedded in the sink so we don't have to worry about that being out in the open and then maybe like the little myers cleaner that i just got from william sonoma i'll put in there that's cute and then i got this faux fur throw that i'm gonna put in the living room like i said i i want i know i want new living room furniture but i um don't want to be rushing to buying something that then i don't like a year from now don't move it no move it your friend is eating macaroni and cheese for for lunch it's the messiest he's ever been and then william got i think these are yeah william just got some coasters i think he's just putting those downstairs like I said, I'm in the process of repotting my plants. You know, you're supposed to repot them every six months. 
it's been longer than six months. Um, so I'm realizing that some are too big, like they're too small for their space. So I got, okay. I got these two. Um, and I'm, cause I'm going to replace the two gold ones that are currently here. Um, so I got these two and if I have enough spray paint left over, I'm also going to spray paint these, but the one that I'm definitely going to spray paint and this isn't a planner, but I just kind of want to put it in the kitchen and put like our fruits. In no, don't flip that plate over. Don't you flip that plate over. Yeah, we're not buying these again. I don't know why they make this so cheesy. You're eating it, but my God, the mess that it's leaving. Anyway, so I want to um, put this on the kitchen counter and put like our fruits and vegetables in it. Doesn't match, right? It's also, I think we just chipped that. But I went to, after looking in several places, finally, Home Depot had what I am looking for, and it is just, let me see if I can get close enough. See, it's like that pretty stone color. So this is gonna be my, I'm about to quickly, this shouldn't take that long. Quickly spray paint this so that way it can sit out in the elements and that way you can guys can see it. Um, and then, I feel like you're trying to sell me something. I would just say, let's just order something. Um, I was going to do hookah and drinks with some girls because I'm tired when I, and I need some hookah, but they're all busy with their husbands and their children. Um, but Faith says she did a dinner reservation at nine o'clock for at East West for a sister dinner. So if my younger sister is up to going, we're going to go there. Like I said, I'll, I have to pick up Faith today at 8 30 anyway from the airport and then when i go pick her up the wagon that i was showing you guys at walmart they don't allow for displays but there's a walmart over there by the airport that has it in stock so i went ahead and placed the order for a pickup so i'll pick it up while we're heading to uh, pick up faith and then either we're going to come straight back if my younger sister isn't up for going or um east west but i'm about to start doing this and then i need to wash my hair out because i have the detangler and the hair mask from Pattern, first of all, it worked really good. Like the slippage that it had. Definitely gonna be using that on a protective styles. But anyway, I'm gonna try to um, wash my hair and then I need to edit the video that has to go up tomorrow. I know, no mama me. No mama me. Put it all on the floor. What? Okay, let's clean this. Let's clean it up a little bit. Over here first. Oh, there, just a little. Because you're messy. Alright guys, happy Sunday. We are headed to the pumpkin patch. I left you guys yesterday, but I did end up going out to dinner with the sisters. You can't see Faith, but she's back there. Um, and then she forced us to go to... Uh, oh, not force. Let's, uh, let's rephrase that. Okay, after dinner, after trial and error, we ended up at a hookah spot that's relatively new. It's a restaurant bar and bar, but they have hookah. And it's actually really good. It's off of Green Springs called Volume. Um, they just opened up, I want to say, like a week ago, but it actually was nice. They had pretty, pretty good, pretty decent hookah. So we're up early, headed, well, not really early. It's 12 o'clock. Um, headed to 
the pumpkin patch. We're going to Helena Hollow. We're gonna meet um, Nikki and her crew there because there just wasn't enough space in here, so. Three, two, one. Go. Grab, grab Ethan, grab Ethan, grab Ethan, grab Ethan. Up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, and there, and there we go. And there we go. So one of y'all got to jump. I don't believe that for a second. Say, that is a llama. That is a llama. Yeah. You got to get on that horse and ride it. He's not having a good time. done with the pumpkin patch um we are at the summit at halloween store because someone wants to get halloween costumes the the plan is to dress like the avengers but if they don't have an iron man costume I'm no not. no that's not the plan alicia that's not the plan that is the plan that's been the that's the plan we've that's been not the plan that is not the original plan the plan was to dress like the avengers Yes, but that doesn't mean that you have to be Iron Man. If I'm not Iron Man, I'm not dressing up a bit. It just sounds like you're not being collaborative. You will. Really what is it? what is in his hand? You want to see what his dad did for a living? Look. I'm not going over there, and you better not scare us. DJ, don't do that. I don't have one. Not yawning. Are you not a face?
the, the adults over here. Let's see. These look like pussy costumes. Sorry. Riddler. Super. Batman. Superman. If they have DC, they have. If they have DC, they have Marvel. Not laughing. Let me see that. Let's see the mask. And he's laughing. Okay. All right, guys, we are back. We've actually been back for a while. It is 8.34. Um, so we got back probably right around like five something. Um, didn't find anything at the costume store they had no marvel anything for adults they had a couple of options for like boys like my um middle nephew so he's 13 so they had a couple options for him no options for like toddlers and stuff so we're gonna try to go the amazon route or i'm just not dressing up hello um, so yeah we got back um put alexander down around like six something it's probably closer to seven because he was wired my sister gave him some of her um like icy uh like italian ice thing and all that high fructose corn syrup which is just running all through his system okay but he finally went down i would say right at seven um neither me nor william i didn't feel like making pizzas william didn't feel like making drinks <laughs> Um, so William went online and ordered Pizza Hut and we just had some of the port wine that we had yesterday. Uh, and I'm about to get into the bathtub. You can't tell, but I have myself, let's see, a nice bath that I have waiting for me with all of the things. I have a lush bath bomb that I put in there. It's the only bath bomb that I use that doesn't affect any of the other places right and then I use this bubble bath that I got from Ulta and I'm about to take my makeup off I think I'm gonna apply a mask actually not think I know I am I'm just trying to decide which mask I'm going to apply but I'm gonna apply a face mask and I'm gonna wind down for Sunday it feels like I have just been going and going we didn't get home yesterday until after two like i said we ended up at that hookah spot called volume i don't even know if i told you my i have no idea i remember telling william i don't remember if i told you <laughs> but after dinner we did end up going to this place called volume one of faith's friends was there and they had just opened up um probably like a week ago but it was really nice anyway we didn't get home until i i remember laying down and last time I saw the clock it was 2.21 um, and then of course with Alexander we got right back up at like closer to 8 o'clock today so I'm exhausted so this is a mask that I'm using from Tatcha it's the clarifying clay mask and I'll just put this on um, and then I'll have it on in the tub and then when I get out I'll rinse it off oh how cute thank you all right Mask up in the i think this is where i'm going to leave you guys because i'm about to cut these lights off light some candles set a mood trying to decide if i want to watch a show or watch a couple of youtube videos which is probably going to be a show i don't really feel like watching someone's reality right now so this is where I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this weekend vlog. Um, I'll make sure. Oh, what I did decide that I'm going to do because I've gotten, I try to, even though I can't respond to every comment, I try to at least read and go through every comment. And one of you guys was like, hey, is there a way that you can put everything that you mentioned in one post? Because let's just say I linked this mask, right? And so you go to the mask and you're like, oh man, I also want to see what hair product she used and you have to come back to my youtube video to get that link um and so i have found a website called collective voice because you guys normally know i've been on ltk i've been an ltk fan but on ltk you can only link up to 16 items and 
during the day i i mean i used five alone on my hair so i have found a different website called collective voice that lets you link up to like 99 different items so what i'm going to start doing starting with this video is so like if you look down on the description box and you see where it says Friday and there's only one link, if you click on that one link, it has absolutely everything that I mentioned and you can just shop right there. So you don't have to constantly come back to my YouTube video to get the link for this and get the link for that. Everything is on that one post. And so I was glad to be able to, they actually reached out to me. Um, and so when I got the demo, I was like, how many items can you link? And they're like, oh, you can link up to 99. I was like, say less. So I'm trying it out. You guys let me know how you like it. So there'll only be like, for instance, there'll only be three posts. So it'll be the Friday link, the Saturday link, and the Sunday link. And then of course I'll have just like my general stuff, like my actual online boutique, my Poshmark, that kind of stuff. But for anything that I'm showing in the video, just go to whatever day that I'm talking about it and everything will be on that one post. So I hope that that helps with a lot of the questions that you guys have had. So let me know your feedback. If you have reached the end of this video and you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. While you're here, guys, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And do all the things that the other YouTubers tell you to do. Pardon my face. <laughs> but I'm going to see you guys Sunday, 7 o'clock. Later.